Hello everybody and welcome to another update from Marvel Heroes 2016. This one is patch 2.02 and it contains some things that I personally have been really looking forward to as has much of the community. First and foremost we see the release of Beast as a playable character and along with him we also have another X-Man joining the crew which is Jubilee as a team up. So Beast is primarily based around moving and reducing his cooldowns and all sorts of cool stuff like that. If you'd like you can take a look at my test center and also my stream from the 4th of February so that you can see um, see him in action just jumping and running and tumbling around and all that kind of stuff. As for Jubilee, she is pretty much exactly what you might expect with a whole bunch of firework craziness and lots and lots of particle effects and all sorts of cool stuff. Again, you can check out my test center stream in order to see more of her specifically. Other than that, we have some very important updates to the Cosmic Difficulty where we do have the difficulty slider going on now and with the cosmic difficulty we are now getting a lot more XP a decent amount more of the rare and the special item find which will soon be changing but we also have the return of the bounty uh, terminal missions because they were actually gone for a couple of days or a couple of weeks and thankfully they are back in now in addition just like we had with the test center a little while ago we also see the addition of the cosmic artifacts by and large, cosmic artifacts are effectively just cosmic versions of artifacts we see all the time, mostly with the boss artifacts. So we're talking about things like Hyde's Formula and Taskmaster's Book and the ESP box, the Focus Headband, Mole Man Staff, etc., etc., all of those kinds of things. In addition, we also have some new artifacts that were added specifically so that they could have this cosmic addition, uh, which we've got things from the hood, we've got one from Loki, uh, Grim Reaper, and a couple of others. Um, now the thing with these is that they are separate items. We are able to re-roll the specific affix that you get with them. They will have a cosmic affix. Unfortunately on live I haven't gotten one yet. We'll see if Taskmaster is generous today and hands one over but who knows uh, if you go again to my test center stream then you can see uh, see me taking a look at them uh, as as that test center release was happening though they weren't working quite well so they didn't have cosmic affixes but now they do indeed have cosmic affixes so you can read a little bit more about them in the patch notes and again you can take a look at my test center stream to see me actually looking at them in game as well but suffice to say it's another tier of the the actual uh, artifact items that you can get again primarily from the, the bosses but there are some that you don't and we will also be adding more and more of these as well including the flag of the Imperial Empire the orders from the Emperor the scroll communication device all those good ones that were added when we got chapter 10 as well the other really major change for this particular patch is that two heroes Angela and Blade were completely revamped this is essentially essentially going back to when we had 52 reviews for heroes but this except it's not a 52 review because they're already at that stage so this is a complete revamp of both of these heroes where their primary resources changed all of their power integration and everything about how they play has pretty drastically changed so there's a lot going on with it it's pretty exciting there's some good new stuff beast is a lot of fun i had an absolute blast with him so have at it go go at least try him out and see what you think of him but with that i'm I'm going to get going. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Go out, play, get those awesome items, and I will see you next time. It's as sweet as candy. It's taste is on my